Hey guys, uh, this is Brandon with the Art of Self Alignment, and I'm here with Dr. Diana Totoro, who is a coach and physical therapist over at San Francisco CrossFit. And today we're going to talk to you about three easy steps that you can use to improve your basic human squat. So here we go. So one of the things that Brandon and I were talking about is that you really need to decide to commit or figure out what your commitment is to this process. So if you're trying to improve your squat, then it may take a little bit of time. We know that fascia takes about two years in our body to kind of turn over and change. And so just kind of using it as a guide, like these things are going to take a little bit of time. With that being said, you can start spending some time in the bottom of the squat, and that's really going to be our, our step one. So Brian's going to show just one of the examples of what we could do of making sure that we are actually measuring the depth of our squat as well. So we can kind of use this beam pole wall at your house, you know, whatever you kind of want to use for that, a doorway maybe, and you can kind of mark little marks on there as far as to what your depth is and how it progresses, okay? So he's just going to go ahead and sit down into a squat. And then, you know, as he gets maybe a little bit more comfortable, he'll either be able to put his hands a little bit lower and can kind of show like where that's at. If you want to use maybe like the height of your head as far as like a little marker um, so you can really tell and you don't get frustrated with the, the progress uh, even though it may be a little bit slower than, than what you'd like. Okay. So step two is just going to be to find different ways where we can get into the position during our daily activities. So maybe if I'm folding the laundry, I can kind of be folding the laundry on the floor in my squat. If I'm playing with my kids, I can kind of play with them uh, in the bottom of the squat uh, and kind of get really comfortable doing this, not just in the context of training, but in daily life to really kind of increase that amount of time that we spend in there. And the third thing that we wanted to do is just to uh, make a commitment to wearing some flatter shoes. So Brandon's got an example here uh, where we're looking for a really flat shoe here. So it's not just in the gym that I'm stretching, but I can kind of be doing a slow stretch of my heels all day, getting a little bit better ankle flexibility just by changing my shoes. So that's it for now, guys. We're going to talk a little bit more in depth about other changes you can make to your squat. But for now, that's just to get you started. And hopefully that won't create too much uh, frustration or uh, overthinking and just Give it a shot. So we'll be back and thanks for tuning in.